on my way to Sugarloaf Mountain in Frederick, Maryland. It is a privately owned place that has um, some buildings you can tour, I guess, and um, about seven and a half to 10 miles of hiking, depending on which trails you go and how you're gonna go. Uh, the main trail is about five miles. I'm gonna start with that. And, um, it has been suggested to me to check it out by three different people in three different um, circumstances, situations, conversations that happen. So, um, plus there were a couple of other signs that I'm supposed to go here. So I guess um, I'm supposed to go here. So I'm kind of excited. I, I filled up a, a pack, you know, just as though I'm going on a long hike when obviously I'm just going for a day hike. Um, you know, that's the thing to do to, to keep up the hiking spirit, though, when the weather gets cold and you're not spending any time outside anymore. Um, overnight, anyways. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Green Rabbit, checking in and out. Bye for now. We are actually on a trail. A nice woodsy trail. I'm staying with the yellow trail, and then looks like I'm going to try and go up to the white rocks, which is the viewpoint of the whole thing. And so I'm going to uh, then take the blue trail up there. I think I said that. And then from there, I'm going to take the white trail back because it'll be a little bit closer than taking the yellow trail all the way around the circle. And I'll still have about five miles of walking. Um, I just don't want to over, uh, extend and not be able to get out of here at dark because you're supposed to be out of here at dark um you know if i don't quite make it back by dark i do have a flashlight this is not going to be ideal because they really want you out of here by dark there's absolutely no camping um so this map seems to have things pretty well and between the map and the trail markers, it looks pretty well marked. So I'm not afraid of getting lost. I just want to make sure that I don't get myself on one of the uh, further out distances to come back in. And, you know, not enough time to get back in before dark. This, looking at it now, looks like a place I probably should have started about 8 a.m. instead of almost 1 p.m. Um, it was about 12.30 when I got started, so well equipped to uh, spend the night in the woods if I absolutely had to. Got extra clothes, got a sleeping bag, 40 degree sleeping bag, and uh, you know, not that it would be an enjoyable night, but uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to prepare for things like that in case they happen, right? And plus, having the weight on my pack will give me the, um, you know, the, the practice in continuing my hiking, um, you know, well past when I would be out there hiking on the Appalachian Trail. I would have been done. <laughs> um, had everything gone as I originally planned on the AT, I would have been done just now. And, um, you know, just these last few days here, in, in the last few days here, would have been getting to my friend um, in Gaithersburg uh, that I'd now been staying with the entire time I was supposed to be walking to him. Um, so it's kind of interesting. And then uh, I, I'm leaving next week. I'm headed back to Wisconsin next week already. So this has really um, been quite the extended adventure for me um i can't tell you <laughs> that um i would have ever expected it to go in the way that it did um you know there's very few disappointments in it though you know i've just experienced some things that have been you know so completely <laughs> unexpected you know the even even extending my stay at my friend's house for, for two and a half months. You know, I would have never expected to do that. I would have never expected to meet some of the people that I've met and, 
you know, made new friendships along the way. Um, I would have never expected to be spending time volunteering um, at a garden center. I would have never expected to be actually getting a job and working somewhere for a few weeks. Um, you know, that certainly wasn't part of the original plan. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have expected to just do all of the the traveling that I've done, you know, I've gotten to go to Virginia Beach, um, Baltimore, Williamsburg, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. Haven't actually spent any time in D.C., even though that's probably the closest tourist area. Um, here I am hiking on Sugarloaf Mountain. Spent a week on the Appalachian Trail. Um, you know, what else have I done? I've... Uh, yeah, during that week I spent three days in the same place. Um, I've got a friend that's coming to, on the 23rd to um, travel home with me. I'm going to be traveling home by train. So my adventure's not even nearly done yet, folks. It's just uh, coming to a slow close, you know. Um, this has been great. It's just been, it's really been great. And I'm very grateful to have done the things that I've done. Um, I started to say there's a falls somewhere within an hour from where I'm staying that we're going to be visiting here, hopefully this weekend, because this coming weekend is the last weekend now. And my friends, of course, work during the week. So, um, you know, we're hoping to go this weekend and if if we can't go this weekend I'm going to be renting a car when my friend gets here on the 23rd she's staying for four days then I'll just get uh, directions and I'll go with her in the rental car you know um, it's just been really really a transformation journey for me I've you know I've cut my hair <laughs> cut all my hair off I wasn't expecting to do that either you know, but uh, I'm very pleased that I took this this trip, and I'm very pleased about the way that I did it. I saved enough money that's sitting at home, being held on to by my sister, to pay my first month's rent, which now, hey, I wasn't expecting that during this time either, but that's been planned. You know, I know where I'm going now for the next several months or as long as I choose to stay there, you know. The rent is reasonable enough that if I decide to spend whatever amount of time in Green Bay, I'm going to be able to spend it there affordably. That's pretty freaking awesome, you know. This, by the way, is still uh, the yellow trail. I'm going to follow it around until it gets to a point where the, uh, the blue trail meets it. And then I will from there take the blue trail. So there's a yellow blaze as you can see. Um, this is starting to go downhill now. Starting to be a little bit more of a challenge. Back to, you know, feeling like I'm hiking again. This is this is awesome. This is a nice place. I'm I'm really glad that I came here and listened to the <laughs> umpteen messages that I got that I'm supposed to come out here. So yeah, Green Rabbit um, experiencing Sugarloaf Mountain. We'll uh, check back in after a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go um, continue this video with some silent time.
looked across this. That's going to be where I'm going to cross. A little bit of wet running over a little bit of dry. Um, yeah, interesting. Nice day hike. It's not too stressful, but there's a few challenges like uh, crossing that little bit of water, trying to figure out exactly where you are when you don't see a marker. I want to be able to get to where we're going. Hopefully see that white rocks um, view and uh, yeah, go from there. Just kind of a nice little trail, like I said. You know, as you can see, uh, just a little bit of uphill, downhill stuff. A little bit of rocky area. Um, but nothing to complain about. That, I don't know if you can even tell, is just on a, on a decline. So we're going to go down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I came here. This is, this is really nice. past the marker yellow seven which means I'm really close to the intersection where blue purple and yellow meet um, again I'm going to be trying to take the blue trail up to white War rocks which is a scenic spot and uh, we'll be headed down from there on the blue and white trails where they linked together and staying on the white to end the day. So right now it's about 20 after two. And uh, I figured that about by about 3.30 is when I need to start heading back from wherever I am. So I don't see any reason why I can't make it up there in an hour in 10 minutes. But, uh, you know, if 3.30 comes around, I gotta really start thinking about heading back in order to get back before dark. So, uh, we're gonna attempt to get up to the blue trail. As a matter of fact, little secret, you're probably not watching this video if I didn't make it to the blue trail. <laughs> Another few feet of walking and here's where I ended up. The blue goes up and to the left. It's also white rocks where I'm trying to get. Yellow would be to continue on this trail. And I'm believing, oh, this is the other way for blue. So, it does look on here like purple heads off in this same way. Probably that way. Look at, there's a purple marker over there on that tree. Oh, it's like a purple triangle. Okay. So, headed on the blue trail towards, see the B5 there? Um, keep going to B6. And white rocks looks like just a little bit ahead. And then B7, down, down, down. And then we want to stay on B, on blue. You'll meet yellow again, but you want to stay on blue. And then you'll see a, a continuation of blue. Or you can go on white. I will continue where it says blue and white. And then back down to those squares and out. So here's a little bit of the blue trail. The, bl 
blue are a little bit hard to pick up on on the camera, but I can see them very clearly here, so. Looks like the blue trail is going to be no joke too. A little uphill, a little bit of rocks, a little bit of rocks uphill. Sounds like I'm singing a song. <laughs> those are steps okay I'll check back in when I get to white rock say the blue level of the blue trail definitely brings the skill level up another notch um, in comparison to anything I've seen on the yellow trail. This has not been the whole way like this, but it is definitely more challenging than the yellow trail. <clears throat> so for anyone who wants to uh, explore a day here, just to keep that in mind. It's been really pretty though. It's been able to see some views. It's not picking it up real good in the camera, but just, you know, and then these rock areas are always pretty. To me, they're pretty. Um, yeah, just trucking along the blue trail. Got another, what looks like to be not quite a mile to, uh, oh wow, look at that. We're gonna go uphill, around the corner, up rocks, and then a skinny path that has a drop off to the left. So um, anyway, uh, looks like a little bit less than a mile. I twisted my ankle there a little bit. To, uh, whoo, look at that. Um, to the white rocks. I don't know what you would call it, maybe a bluff, maybe a view viewpoint. Like I said, I'm really glad that I listened to the many signs. There were at least five signs that I'm supposed to come out here. I mean, for some reason, the first time someone mentioned it to me, I had already, I decided at that point that I wanted to do it. Um, they described it a little bit. Uh, I felt at the time like I'm not going to remember this description, which I really didn't. But they also talked about, uh, Billy Goat Trail, I believe. I think it was called Billy Goat Trail. And that I should uh, also check that one out. And I thought, if I only get to check out one, Sugarloaf is going to be the one I want to check out. And I didn't know why I felt that way. But uh, I just kind of felt that. And, you know, now I'm here. So, let's see. Let me drop their map here, pack that out. So again, I hope this leads me in whatever direction I need to go. 
which has got to be to the right, I'm sure, for this um, white rocks. See you again soon. <laughs> On the blue trail here, all of a sudden it's getting really steep and I really feel like I have gone quite a bit further than a half a mile since that uh, last um, tag point, marker point. The B5 was the last one I saw. I should have seen B6 by now. I may have missed it. But if I missed B7, then there's still a possibility <laughs> I could miss the white rock. Um, you know, it is what it is, but wow, is this steep here. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Um, so yeah, just uh, getting a little shot in and kind of sharing where things are at. I, there's no way I could have missed it. There's no way. Because there's another trail, the purple, uh, the other side of the purple trail comes through there. There's just no way I could have missed it. So, it's just taking me longer than I thought, is all. And it is 3.06. I mean, I guess it's only been 15 minutes since I passed that blue marker, so. It just feels like longer, I guess. Maybe I've been too much in my head. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm just going to quietly video this. There's the purple. Well, that's hard to see on camera, but I can see it quite clearly here. And so there's the blue. And so it is that way. Then for white rocks. And then uh, continue on the blue trail from there. Good, I didn't miss it. I did miss the B6 marker though. And I think the B7. I don't know how I missed all those markers, but. Make myself feel better, maybe, because I don't know if the B7 is still up ahead after the purple trail comes in. Okay. There is... Oh, okay. So I did miss the B6 marker, because there was that. B7 is down the hill after White Rocks. So. Okay. I only missed one marker. Not two. That's good. I mean one post marker. Plenty of blazes along the way, which I've been seeing. So, thinking, how did I see all these blazes and missed a marker? I don't know. But I did. Sorry. Right. I'm headed to White Rocks and we'll reach it before 3.30. So this is White Rocks. I would call this a bluff, I guess, because you come up here, and I guess there's two points. This is the north point, and then there's the south point, which I'm gonna go over to. So the people that were here were very nice. I didn't, I chatted with them for a few minutes, but um, I didn't offer to put them on my YouTube video. There's a drop off here. This is nice. This is a really nice view. It's beautiful. And then the guy with the dog behind me went to the other viewpoint, so I may or may not cross paths with him again. 
the, let me see the other viewpoint. Let me see if that's where I want to spend the 10 to 15. If I want to come back here. I'll shut it off. Hey, at the top of the other view of, well, not the top, obviously, but I am not going to climb that. This is uh, what we got for view. It's beautiful. More people were on their way out, so I left the YouTube thing go. I don't see the water I thought I saw before, but I see something that looks like, like a, a muddy area that I could have mistaken for water. But either way, the camera's not going to pick up what I did see. Eh. It still kind of looks like it might be some water. Then it's got to be a swamp or something. Anyway, what a pretty view. This would be a beautiful sunset view if I'm on the right. The sun's kind of hidden. You know? Huh. This, it, it would be off in that direction, which would be trees. So I wouldn't see much of it. But you know, I bet earlier in the year we could have caught a beautiful one over here. Or maybe later in the year. I don't know. We're not going to do a sunset today anyways. We're going to enjoy this and be on our way. Is see that the blue and the white trail uh, combination is well marked it was well marked on the other end of it too going this way is the blue trail and now going this way is the white trail which will be my trail out of um, this facility and it looks like um, altogether less than a mile so just showing you where things lead all along the trail there were like blue and white together marks so it's been extremely obvious where you go and um kind of treacherous of a trail actually or there's spots like this that's really nice and easy but uh the blue trail is no joke i mean that blue trail that's that one's kind of tough I just have to take a moment have to take a moment here and say this little rippling brook in the last few um, sections or at least for the last section maybe I, I, it might have felt like longer because I enjoyed it so much um, that's my point this last little whatever here this this brook has been alongside the trail for a while i guess that's the identifier of, of what is so beautiful i've been walking along the trail listening to this brook on my left see when i was over there it's my left right correct i mean okay now i'm gonna be walking the trail okay and hearing it on my right. This is beautiful.